message is spreading across the country, and followers of the Tea Party are multiplying. Take a look. This is the second annual Tea Party in the Dayton area. This crowd has filled nearly half of the Nutter Center, which can hold about 11,000 people. Crowd circle every gate at the Nutter Center. Their chance to be a part of a grassroots movement that's grown to massive numbers. People are waking up and realizing that, you know, it is their responsibility. It's not the government's responsibility to take care of themselves. Inside, the crowd shares the ideas that they say would lead us to a better America. Tea Party supporters say they stand for fiscal responsibility in government, fewer taxes, and private health care. People are saying, hey, I have to cut back. Why shouldn't the government? It's actually a, a non-serious uh, party to celebrate and uh, to energize ourselves for a very serious party. music and fun, as well as several speakers, such as Congressman Jim Jordan, local businessman Greg McAfee, and conservative activist Alan Keyes. The group says they focus on the issues, not a party name. We want fiscal responsibility. If a Democrat brings that to us, great. If a Republican brings that to us, great. Independent, great. All we're trying to do is just kind of get the car back in the center before it goes off the cliff. Supporters say Tuesday's showing is a clue that the Tea Party will have a great influence on political decisions to come. Once the people who are in office realize that, you know, we mean business and you're not going to ignore us anymore, you know, and uh, the November elections will prove that. Well, the effect that all this will have on the upcoming election in November, we'll just have to wait and see. In the Nutter Center, Holly Samuels, 2 News, on your side.